Luminar Neo News Flash. This week, Skylum dropped update 1.5.1 and has something new and exciting to announce. You can now buy the extensions individually. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and if you want to learn all about photo editing, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what's new with Luminar and Skylum this week. The first update that I was really excited about is changes to the background and portrait background removal tools. Previously, I did a video on a little hack that I created to solve the problem, but Skylum has been listening to us and they have solved the problem. Now when you go into the background removal tool, I've already removed the background on this plane. When you open the refinement brush tool, you'll notice that you get to see the background image again. So previously when we were trying to paint in or out and find the edges of the subject, we had to use a little trick which was the backslash key so that we could see what it is we wanted to paint in. In this case, if I zoom in a little bit, the propeller over here is missing. So I'm just going to get a really small brush and you can see that the propeller is visible here so I can easily paint over it. Now Luminar has found the edge and added the propeller to the selection. I can do the same here because it's missing part of the wings. I'll just go one more pass with the refinement brush and that will clean it up. But it's much more handy to be able to see the background image when I'm doing the painting. Then when you're ready to check your mask, just close the refinement brush and you can see the selection. If I wanted to add the smoke coming out the tail of the plane, I just need to do the same thing once again and paint over it. And now that I can see the background image, it makes it much easier to add the smoke. If you open the portrait background removal tool, you'll notice that the same applies here as well. Opening the refinement brush and you can see here that I can see the background while I'm painting. So this is a much needed and much appreciated update. The next update is an addition to the Super Sharp AI extension. Now, when you open it, you have a choice of motion blur or universal. So you can try both and see which one works better. The next improvement is with the cloning tool when you're using the brush and brushwork when you're doing masking. What they said is it works better with memory when using the undo function. I must have missed that in a previous update because I wasn't aware that they even had undo for the cloning tool yet. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna set the source here and then I'm just going to try and clone in to remove this wire here. Okay, so I've done one pass. Now let's see if I mess it up. So I'm just gonna set the source incorrectly. Obviously that's not what I want. So let's see if we can undo. Indeed, we can. And if I want, I can keep doing undo and redo this one as well. So as long as you are still in the tool, you have access to undo. This is a great update and it supposedly works faster with memory as well. And if you're doing brushwork on masks, there've been a few other minor updates and bug fixes. I'll put a link to this page where you can read about the update and everything that's included in the description area below. And this is not an update to the program, but an update to your purchase options. Something that people have been asking for for a while is to be able to buy the extensions individually. Well, now you can. So when you go to the buy page, you could individually check off the ones that you want. So for example, if you only want to do HDR and background removal, you can pay $93 and get those. The best deal, however, is still to get the pro subscription plan, which is currently $89 US for the first year. And if you use my coupon code DPM-NEO, you get a further discount. And the last thing I want to show you has nothing to do with the recent update, but it's just a sneak peek at a new sky replacement pack that I just completed, including some amazing Aurora and stormy skies. Check it out. Here's a quick before and after that I did on this image. 
Some of the other skies included are additional auroras. There's 14 different aurora borealis skies included in the pack, as well as some starry skies, like so, and storms. This was a great storm cell that I was able to photograph in Alberta. So most of these skies are taken in my own nearby backyard and I've put them together in a sky pack for you. I'll put a link to that in the description area below for you, as well as a link for the Luminar Neo extensions if you want to buy them individually. If you're looking for more complete step-by-step -step instructions on how to use Luminar Neo, check out Luminar Neo The Complete Course. When you sign up, there's lots of bonuses available for you and you get my raw files to use to practice. If you'd like to watch another video here on YouTube, click this one now. Until next time, take care and we'll see you soon.